Michael Porter Jr. to me is the other huge story last night. This is a guy everybody says had top three talent. Obviously, the injury is a concern. What was your reaction to him falling to 14? Yeah, I was surprised it was, it was that far. I mean, this is a guy who last year at the Nike Hoop Summit, around that time we were talking about him as a number one pick, perfect fit in the modern NBA, 6'11", can shoot it on the move, can really score. Um, you know, clearly the injury was a little bit more serious than, than people had thought. Uh, you know, they had pro day scheduled, they had to move things back, and, um, you know, more and more reports came out. Uh, but to me, I think, I mean, even if he needs a redshirt year at 14, that's a steal just given his talent level. I thought maybe it would be, you know, worst case 11 or 10. Hmm. Uh, so I, I think Denver did a nice job. He's still a lottery pick. That's what he gets to say. He was a lottery pick. It's the last pick in the lottery. To you, if he has to sit a year, and we've seen Blake Griffin sit a year, we saw Ben Simmons sit a year, if he misses a year, it's still a good pick at 14. Yeah? Absolutely, because it's about who's doing it. And the Denver Nuggets were – knocking on the door to being a playoff team without him. That's why they can afford to take this chance. If you're the Kings, if you're the Knicks, if you're so many teams that was picking prior to this and you draft a guy that could potentially be red-shirted, your fans would be up in arms. But for Denver, who hasn't necessarily been able to um, take the next step, they signed Millsap. I love their backcourt with Gary Harris and Morris. Jokic is a terrific player. Now you add this guy, now all of a sudden they could become a legitimate top five team in the Western Conference if everybody maxes, maximizes their potential. All right. One of the more interesting moments of the night last night, Beatle, of course, the reaction of the fans in New York when the Knicks selected Kevin Knox, number nine overall. Give a listen. With the ninth pick in the 2018 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Kevin Knox from the University of Kentucky. Oh no! Oh, this is this is now guaranteed that Kevin oh, Knox is wow. going to have an All-Star NBA career. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's motivation. Uh, a lot of the city wants Porter, but I'm ready to work. I'm ready to get to the organization and try and win some games. Uh, welcome to New York. Yeah. <laughs> Noted draft expert, the Porzingis crying kid, didn't seem to like the pick very much. What, uh, what did you think of it? I loved it. I think I would have taken him ahead of Michael Porter as well. I think he's a year younger, at least over a year younger, six foot nine, seven foot wingspan. I had a nice year at Kentucky. He can score in a variety of ways. I think he can really shoot the ball. He didn't defend all that well at Kentucky, but we've seen him do it in the past. So to me, he really fits, you know, the modern NBA and what you're looking for. I think he can play some four as well, you know, pair him down the road with Kristaps Porzingis in kind of a small ball four or five combination there. Uh, I, I thought it was a major win for the Knicks. Beetle, you know David Fisdale as well as anybody does. The new coach, you know what kind of player he's looking for. Yeah, he, he was here. He said it. He wanted a guy that fights, just gets down, gets a little dirty, does all that. And so he picked this kid. And, and for me, it's just, it's, some people are just never happy. <laughs> so that's what you had in the crowd. Yeah, last he didn't have the it wouldn't name. have mattered who they this picked. This is a kid who didn't have the name going but into this draft. but he. Uh, it, it, that's it, what I'm saying. How much of this guy did any of those people booing watch? They I'm going to guess zero. They would have booed whoever they drafted. 100%. Yeah. Because that's how you get on camera. That, oh, so, that's oh really you're being really that, cynical that's now. Really, that's, that, that's what this is all about. <laughs> That's like, all of this is about. Forgetting all of that in, 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 in this new era of positionless basketball, this guy is exactly what the NBA is now, yes? Absolutely, because you have a guy that has the potential to score 20 points in the NBA one day. He can catch and shoot. He can play off screens. He needs to work on his ball handling. Yes, he needs to get stronger. Yes, he needs to prove it defensively. But he has an opportunity to be an all-star level player. They got a terrific pick. In the top ten, the fans should be happy. He's going to be compatible be with Porzingis. I think it's going to be a good look for their team.